one meta. We play this in best of one. All right, hang on. Let's build it. Rebooters are out. They're pretty bad. Grasp or agonizing remorse. We have nothing against pure control. We kind of get wrecked. Um, I'm not... I don't hate duress. And I don't hate agonizing remorse, but... Uh, white weenie. I don't think life life gain in standard is pretty trash. In my opinion. Whoa, super weird. Esper Boomerdeck is old due to the Teferi, yeah. Um, it's a historic deck, I don't know. Hard to replace Teferi in that deck, that's for sure. All right, we wanted to go to 25 land, which I think is too much, but two games in a row, I'm not going to do that anymore. 25 land. Actually, we're going with best of one, so yeah, maybe 24 land is fine. All right, we need two more creatures, or we put in two Agonizing Remorse, which I don't really like. Are there any Planeswalkers that we need? We need um, to play... about playing some bugs is that gonna get us a win faster twenty seven creatures and a couple of uh over the tops. Let's try it. Apparently not. All right, we have a best of one version. Let's take it for a test drive. Mardu vampires, what? Um, I, I'm playing the other one. I'm playing these Nightmares instead of the Regisaur. Regisaur sometimes... Um, I mean, I like Regisaur if I'm playing Hugs and Shadow Spears. Nerdy Steve, you're getting off early. You're usually 
playing magic way into the wee hours of the evening, so you must be up to something. It must be... Is it Milkshake Monday? Welcome, the Nerdy Steve. How many milkshakes have you enjoyed today? I have had zero. Yeah, I'm not I'm not fond of losing cards to uh the Registor, but Steve literally telling chat you're getting one tomorrow. It's not milkshake Tuesday, it's milkshake Monday. How can you? How can you I don't know, I'm feeling like I guess I guess you can live your life the way you need to. What's a good name for Tuesday's milkshakes? Tasty Tuesdays. How about that? I'm actually thinking chocolate malts or god tier. Chocolate milk. Hmm. I'm playing mono black. So what are you on, Steve? Are you into um are you back on the adventure adventure decks? I thought you were always pretty good with those and enjoyed adventure decks. But what do I know? Uh, I don't know what to do here. Is Elementals a thing now? People are trying to get this deck to work again? Teamer Adventures? Yeah. No, I, I, I had a feeling. What about um, Golgari Adventures? What happened to that deck that it's not viable anymore? Oh boy. All the elementals. They are going nuts. Just tossing in some bolt hounds. It's an elemental. And I am overrun. I'm done. Right? That was pretty ferocious here. It did not stop. Yeah. I think we might have to revisit. What did this person do to me? Bolt Hound, Kahira, Cat Dog, Elemental Madness. Um, still in it. Win this game, everyone. Ah, uh, trusty land. I just got hosed. Um, in two games, I had five mana for like the first ten turns, and now it gives me seven, eight, and nine in uh, twelve cards. Beautiful magic, thank you. Sliding backwards. Best of one. Supposed to be hand smoothing. Hmm, maybe not. I was undefeated, and then I start the stream up, and I've lost the first two um, matches. Perfect. No. Not cries. And, I mean, so, I mean, against a creature deck, I, sh I have enough creatures to and enough removal. I just didn't see it. 
I'm not going to put sweepers that destroy my own deck, you know. It's, I, I don't want sweepers in this deck. It's a creature-based deck, so that feels like the wrong call. It just happened to be that they had a perfect, like, just creatures galore, and I just didn't have it. So, it's going to happen sometimes. See how many games in a row I can miss land drops. Whoa. Crazy, man. But best of one is more creature decks than... Um, what is happening? Hold on. Am I, oh, I'm playing another person. I'm so used to playing best of three that I was like, where are their elementals? Mono black. Hmm. I really want to save this for Loris, right? My goodness. Ah, oh, all right, fine. They've convinced me. I've got to kill this thing. Ghost form. Okay. Ginger brutes are coming. Let's go lethal with the demonic embrace. Let's do it. Almost. But not quite the card. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm trying to think of the the possibilities. I guess because they have so many enchantments or something, or so many, I don't know. Maybe they wanted more one drops to be more aggressive. Jockey, nineteen ninety seven. Welcome. Yeah, I'm playing seven removal spells plus three riders. I don't, I think I'm okay versus creature decks. I do have another version of mono black that looks a little bit similar, but not quite. But I do use. You have Felicia. Where'd you get that emote, Steve? I'm super jealous of it. Welcome to the colony, Victor Freeze. So let me look. Let me compare the two mono black decks I have. So best of one, we're one and one. And then mine is 35 and 30. Nice, 53%. But let me just show you what it looks like for comparison purposes. So this one has, this is the mana curve, 27 creatures, blah, blah, blah. 
the other one that I have is sort of based on that um, the card advantage you get off of the Eidolon and I really like it it feels good when it works of course when it doesn't work it's painful but it's Luris with Eidolon and Deadweight and Meyer's Grasp. Now this has Regisaur's and it embraces plus Shadow Spear's main deck. I wouldn't play Regisaur, but with Shadow Spear, it makes it really fun to trample through things or you could make it fly either way. Same amount of Murderous Riders, eight removal spells, and if you get down an Eidolon and you use your Meyer's Grasp and Dead Weight and have Luris out, you have recursive card draw and a pretty amazing... Um, like between a card draw engine and all these early drops, you get the stuff back, except for the serpent. Maybe the serpent isn't good in this deck. Um, I don't know what to what I would replace it with. I feel like serpent used to be really good, and then now it's not as good. I didn't even know. She had a Twitch channel. Oh my gosh, how often does she stream? You know, I met her at um, TwitchCon and talked to her and, and watched her. It was the very first TwitchCon, the one in San Jose. I talked to her for a little bit, uh, met her, and then watched one of her panels. And she was so inspiring and so amazing. Can you put the link to her channel here, please? Is it just Felicia Day, or what is it? What's her, what's the name of her channel? I must follow. That's really cool. She did the best... Um, panel on streamers being a content creator and the thought process and how to build your business uh probably the most inspiring the single most inspiring um talk that i've heard really really cool thank you it's just felicia day okay easy enough super super inspiring uh one of these days let's talk about it steve I just don't want to just lecture you. I'd rather have a conversation. So I'm now following. Someone's got to beat you, Steve. Do not respond. <laughs> Don't respond, Steve. I know you're typing and you're... All you need to remember is it's family-friendly. <laughs> so what, what do you think of this version? Should we try it? Um, or do you like the sort of the standard version better? Like, I know that it's... I don't know. It's still got the spawns. It's just, it seems fun. I don't know. I'm really debating what I need to make these serpents. Should we keep them serpents or do we need something new and fresh? What's a new fresh creature or spell that we need for this deck to work? I don't really like the Kaya. Maybe I, maybe I'm underestimating Kaya's what you call it. Do I need to just try it? Um, and throw these serpents out. How many creatures do we have? Well, we don't have a lot of creatures though. Kind of bums me out that I'm only playing 21 creatures. Oh, I know. No, I'm I'm kind of teasing you, Steve. You're actually... I, I, I joke around about the family-friendly thing. I don't think... I think you're wonderful. And when I say family-friendly, it doesn't mean super prudish. I just want to leave the door open. Um, but at the same time, you know, Bugs Bunny's 
been, Bugs Bunny has been getting away with non-family friendly humor for a while. No one seems to complain about that old rabbit. So we can have fun. Uh, so now I feel like I don't have enough creatures to make this really work the way I want it to work. What else has lifelink? Is that what we need? Turn the card of the battlefield under your control. I'm doing it. Let's try it out. See how it works. Is this a good best of one build? Yeah. Let's go best of one with this thing and see what happens. Three three black critter can have two lifelink menace death touch. Hmm. What am I missing? Which one? Hmm. I don't know. Aramander. Blue white flyers. What kind of deck is this? No, thank you. I really appreciate you coming by, Steve, with your community. That's really nice of you. Um, you're always streaming so late. Compared to me. Got to get it while we can. Do we need to do a shout out? Has anyone done a shout out for you yet? Nerdy Steve is a fantastic content creator. If you don't know him already, please throw him a follow. Well worth it. Uh, what do we do? Three mana up. Because we have to hope they have a lame counterspell that doesn't work here. I think you're marginally worth it. I think you're way more than marginally worth it. Like you, you, you're always happy. This has been, there been a time? Have I just missed it? Everyone, everyone in the chat, if you know Steve, have I missed, like? A night where you go into his channel and he's like, Hey everybody, the shuffler sucks and you know, like he's all angry and stuff. Tilted. I've never once seen or heard Steve being even a little bit tilted. He's always happy. Drives me crazy. Grim Dancer, okay. Mmm, they're two mana. Okay, I'm gonna make him wait, use it. There he, he did it. Double Spectral Sailor. Another staggering insight. Come on. What's with this consistency here? Uh, plays that card. Feels like a deck that I would build. Spectral Sailors and Staggering Insight. This doesn't feel right. Two mana up still, so we're going to have to try to get around their removal, which I feel like we're not going to now. They've got all the mana they need. 
the lofty denial us, so we might as well get a card here, but you know they're going to denial it. Maybe they play Quench instead and we have it? I don't know. Let's just let's count on them playing Quench. Garbage counterspells. And unsummon. Okay. That's one way out of it. Such a such a strange play. Oh, it's back. I never expected it. So they unsummon a card to save a card. I guess they save two cards by spending one card. And that's the thing, I guess. Okay, we're going to let him use their mana, and then we're going to rider one of the sailors. Hey, sailor. Well done. Just to get under any possible counterspell. Like, we're done. Okay. We won. Best of one. Yay. Didn't really see the synergy, but you see how the deck works. It's not that di much different than the other one. Of course, it feels bad when you don't get the Eidolons and you have, you know, but the, the inconsistency of the removal is made up for the fact that you can get card advantage off it, and I think that's really good. So I'm... I enjoy this build. Yeah, I know, right? Ducky. All right, well, um, still a okay hand. Even though we don't have Eidolon, not so bad. We'll make it work. Another blue-white deck. Hey, look, our Eidolon showed up. It's kind of cool. He'll go up first. Skycats. Goodness gracious, who are these people? Let's draw cards, shall we? Wow. Apparently, this is the best deck ever. Maybe this is the one I need to play. I was showcasing the other one because I thought it was a better build, but apparently this one is turn two kill. Let me take a look at that. That is pretty good, actually. I like that card. I wish it was a two drop, though. Hmm. It is pretty cool, but I don't know if it replaces. Reggie? I do feel I'm kind of creature late though in this deck. It's not very aggro. It's been okay so far, but I feel like... Yeah, I know. Well, no, I just started winning. Mm. I feel like... I could get really bad draws with this. Like, I do want more creatures, but I don't know. Like, playing with Ghost Farm, to me, is really greedy. I've never liked it. I've never liked the whole idea of, you know, even though this does protect your creature and all that kind of stuff, it does work well with Eidolon. I just think I might be getting too cute with all these tricks. The other 
mono black deck. Is uh, feels like right, it just feels 27 creatures. It feels like way more early pressure. I don't have any tricks to draw cards or get card advantage or anything. And some of these cards, these creatures aren't super powerful, but I've got um, it just feels more aggressive with the between the all the one drops, eight one drops. How can I make this? So if I change this and gave it the Eidolon package, I would take out the instant speed removal. Eidolons instead of the gutter bones, and we're in the same boat. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll just let the numbers decide. I feel like this is more aggressive and stronger, but... So far, as far as win percentages go, didn't I just win another one with mono black? Best of one. Oh. Thought I won two. Um, I hope I was playing the right thing. Standard. Oh, black ant. That's what I won with. All right, let's just keep playing it and see how we do. Eek. Cathal Lockthwain. Goose. Wow. Well, well. Goodness me. You want all that land.
Okie dokie. Nissa is back. Seen a lot of Nissas today. That's a card too. Or a Noxious Grasp, yeah. Well, I did not expect that sort of a turn. Going in the wrong direction. Let's go. How can I be a more consistent magic player? Like, I had no chance there. Maybe my deck is bad? I don't know. In a world where I see streamers going 85% win rate over 25 games, how can I become that player? How can I accomplish things that I want to accomplish? I need to change my lands. That's the first thing I need to do. So, made a terrible mistake. I have the wrong lands. Let me fix that. Mono blue flyers again. Perfect. Got him. And a card. And an attack. Hey, Dragon Reborn, how are you? Are you new to Magic the Gathering Arena? Let's try to get out a spawn of mayhem, shall we? Neutralized. Whoa, they're going deep into counter spells. If they're using neutralized in this deck, wow. Two days? Cool. So, what is your. Have you played Magic before that, or is this your first experience in Magic and Arena together? What do you think? Should we do it? Or should we wait for them to be greedy? Um, we'll wait for them. So you're kind of a, so you know magic generally, but you're new to arena. The reason I'm asking, greedy, the greedy opt. Now they can't counterspell it. Now it dies. It's a beautiful thing. They get all the ops, though. They draw all the cards, but they don't have a creature anymore. All right, so I will give you a, a... If you care, if you don't want to hear it, that's cool, too. But after this game, I'll give you a quick um, kind of new player rundown. And then if you have any questions, by all means. And if you have any questions now about anything in the game... Let me know. Happy to help new players. It's one of my favorite things. Demonic Embrace is where I want to be. What are the chances they drew a counterspell out of all those cards, right? Mm-hmm. Let's try to lure it out. Counterspell? Since they run neutralized, you know. Oh, just the Sailor? You got it? 
Sailor is in effect. I've tried mono blue and it falls sh really short of the blue black flash deck. The blue black flash deck is so much better than mono blue. Um, man, it's just enormously better. So much better that I don't even know what to say. All right, so how are we going to get this person? How are we going to get him? Um, I guess we'll just do use what we have on the board. We don't need to be too creative with our hand. It's never easy to ensure that they don't have counter spells, but I have a feeling that they're going to have to do something to try to get back into this game. Seven land is a lot to fight through. Like that. That's a start. You get to draw cards, though. Blue-red flash is a scourge. Blue-black flash. Okay. Bands today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the bands are great. Hi, Dragon Gem. What's up? Bands were fantastic. Teferi the Time Raveler, which was the single-handed worst card ever printed in Magic, in the history of Magic. Changed the game entirely, eliminated a bunch of decks for no reason. Just a very questionable card. Care, courtesy of R&D. Where do I go? Where do I go? Find it hard to believe they didn't stop that. They probably have bounce though, right? Raisin borrower, anything? There we go. Yeah, so Growth Spiral, Wilderness Reclamation, Teferi, and uh, a cat were all banned. The cat was part of the cat oven uh, mess. Let's see if they counter this now. No, they don't have the counter spell. All right, cool. Now do they counter it? It'd be really bad if they did. Wow. Pretty bad. But that's fine with me. I'd like to take that counter spell out of their hand, and now I know everything. They revealed it all. Um, you can like Teferi, but it still doesn't mean that it wasn't really bad for the game. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They've got to have a way to interact here. Now they can. They can block. They're drawing a card. Since they could block anyways, I feel like I could have hated this first and drawn an extra card, but I'm 
so confused. Phoenix might be back, really? It's not just about counter magic. Um, it's about the interaction of decks in general. It's not just counter spells. Because you can play your own counter spells if you're worried about counter spells, or you play around counter spells. Counter spells are nothing. The, uh, the issue. Gosh. All right, that's fine, I guess. They're going to be lethal unless they block me here. There it is. One blocker. Um, so I take out the cutthroat. Before blocks. And that should be GG. It's removing all instant spells, that's the problem. Unless that last card is another bounce spell. I don't think it is. Yeah, that's fine. They're just drawing cards for no apparent reason. Okay. Two rows pretty pretty broken, yeah. Scavenging ooze, yeah. That is true. Uro is still absolutely a powerful card, and it will still give Simic Ramp. Uh, Simic Ramp is still a deck, but also Simic Ramp can fall short if it doesn't get all the right cards. But it's a deck. People are playing it. I don't know if there's any real combo decks anymore. Unless you mean ramp. That's historic. I'm not playing historic, I'm playing standard. Um, Kethis is still a thing, some people love it. Uh, some people are still into it. He didn't get hurt by the bands, I guess. Oh, okay, sorry, I didn't know you were talking about Historic. I generally don't talk about Historic. I was playing it this weekend because of the um, the event, but I'm not really much much of a Historic person. Um, I need to go, my, my kid needs help on the computer, so I need to take a quick break. I'll be right back in about three minutes. Stand by.
All right, I'm back. Hey, thanks for the raid. Chris, how are you? What are you up to with um, regard to standard? I'm playing mono black. Playing two different versions, I'm not sure which I like best. I'm going to figure it out. Scary. Black, white, life gain, all right. Bastion of Remembrance, okay. I don't have ways to in interact with that, so I've got to go over the top. So let's do it this way. Okay, so this is one of those decks. Yep. I get it. They're doing the stuff. Put a whole bunch of creatures down that give tokens so they don't, when they lose their creatures, they come back as tokens and do damage and blah, blah, blah. Did he grab the spear? I don't know what you mean.
It costs two to equip the spear. Oh, no worries. Thrice. You like this deck more than the other version of Mono Black? Okay. Hey, thanks for the cheer. Russ Gus, welcome. Um, there's not much to talk about, except that it's awesome. Just took the, um... I don't love this. Ryder has to kill the prince here. Yeah, exactly. Teferi is finally gone. Even though he was rotating anyways, I feel like it's kind of a... I feel like they made a terrible mistake. They never wanted to admit it. And then they waited till the very last month and were like, okay, well, we're going to ban it. We like, we're taking proactive action. Like, you know, you know you're not. It's kind of like the Nexus ban. We're banning Nexus only in best of one. Come on. Just a, it's a kind of a joke. Okay, here we go. Now we get wrecked by a doom foretold, and I have no way of stopping it, so that's the way it goes. Or that. Hmm, um...
There comes Yorian. There goes Lurus. Top deck. I guess this is a good best of one deck. I've played this deck before. I like it. Any control deck this deep pretty much feels bad. Like I feel like I'm never going to win this now. They've drawn so many extra cards. You wouldn't know it. 30 cards deep in their deck. And I'm 15. They've drawn double the amount of cards I've drawn. I don't think we win you win that situation, you know what I mean? Um Should I put this on Yorian or do I just Blah. That's a bummer. I knew they were going to get it back, but I don't have any way to interact with it, so I'm kind of... Kind of out of luck here. Yorian comes back, they draw more cards, they get more things. Um, They take out... Yeah, I'm, I'm done here. I can't recover. Uh, Do I have... I don't have Rankle in this version. Not that it matters, because they have Yorian, and just it just does too much. Too much work. Classic control deck in best of one. I'm out of options, because I don't have any duresses or any way to interact with the control deck this deep into the game. So, so the th issue that I have with this deck is it's too cute. You know, it tries to do all these tricky things where if I have an Eidolon and then I have this, then I can get card advantage. But if as magic plays out, sometimes you don't get the right cards in the right order, and then it just feels bad. I feel like this version doesn't care as much about any kind of combos. It just says, like, my embrace works with any of the creatures that I need. Nightmare, I don't lose cards from Regisaur. The Menace seems fine with the, I mean, the Nightmare seems fine with Menace. I'm not usually worried about other creatures. I've got lots of rem better removal because it's all instant speed removal instead of the Auras and enchantments and things like that. A black human control? I don't know. Like aristocrat style? Some people like it. Some people are trying it out. Like Orzov. Orzov stuff. Um... You can't just replace Teferi, just put... You can just try counter spells. Try Absorbs instead. Usually, because a lot of decks weren't playing counter spells because of the um, 
because of Teferi. So maybe now try a couple of absorbs and see how that works. Uh, okay, so do we still have the new player here? What was his name or her name? I'm scrolling back up to find the person. Someone help me out. Um, it kind of does. The cat was part of the engine that... Dragon Reborn, okay, thank you. All right, I don't know if Dragon Reborn is still here, so let's find out. So the, um, thank you, Thrace. I appreciate it. So the kitty was good because with, uh... I mean, it still can work. You could still build an aggressive Rakdos deck, but it wouldn't be a sacrifice deck without Cat. Um, you could argue to put in, you know, there's some cards that still work well, but when you can recur damage over and over and have a Mayhem Devil out or two, there's nothing like it. I mean, you could literally do, you know, so much damage, more damage than it seemed possible. Now you don't have the ability, unless you're playing Luris and you're doing other tricky things, but still not fast it's not as much so i think it did break that deck to pieces but you can still build a Rakdos aggro deck and do just fine so i like rankle a lot um yeah i think i'm gonna try this we'll, we'll play this deck a little bit and we'll see how much better it feels so we'll switch over to this mono black Yeah, Mardu Aristocrats, exactly. It just becomes Mardu. Or it just becomes Rakdos Aggro. I mean, it's, that's a thing. Gutter Bones is in the house, as they say. Or in the gutter. I feel like he smells. I think that black cloud coming out of his butt is something we need to talk about. It's obvious. It's a gutter. It's a sewer. It smells. He's gas. He's got some gas. Because you know, as a skeleton, you can't really hold it in. You're not able to just kind of like tighten up. Skeletons are just like, it's just going. Whoosh. Silent but deadly. All right, let's get in there, smelly bones. There's more where that came from. Stanking it up with gutter bones. Uh, it is uploaded. You mean to Aetherhub? Um, you could just look at the... Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. I I stand corrected. I didn't have my cardboard live running. I'm a bad streamer. Shame on me. But I'll get it up on Aetherhub right after this game. I've been making small changes to it. This is a best of one version, and I think I think we're okay. No problem. So if you refresh the stream, you can get the deck list off of um, Untapped. But I will also put it on um, Aetherhub in just a moment. All right, they're going to Uro it up. And we can see if Uro Simic can stop the aggressive mono black deck. And thanks for the follow. More ramp. Welcome to the colony. Demovia, I like your name. It 
So my debate here is whether or not I need to drop the Paragon and go face as hard as possible. I think I'm going to do that. Before they ramp out into silliness, we got to put pressure. And right now I'm getting too much land, but that's okay. That happens sometimes. Mm. We're bringing it all in. If they do block because they don't want to take that damage, then they're lower on their ramp. So I got them at six. That feels pretty good. But that could be bad because now they have seven mana. One turn away from Ugin, in which case everything goes bad. Hey, we did it. Yeah, I've got a few different versions. Um, this version, I can show you and I'll upload it right now. Doing pretty good. I was playing here in best of three and went three and one. And then I made a best of one version and now we're two and one. So five and two overall. Um, let's export it to Aetherhub and we'll talk about it. Here's the link. So, I feel this is a good best of one deck. It's got removal, it's got some pretty fun creatures, it's got speed down low, 27 creatures, the rest is removal. Um, I don't know. I got some deeper threats in district to try to combat if I have to go a long, grueling game with control. But obviously control can just shut down um, aggro decks, and this is aggro. So you have to follow your plan and go with it. Um, but I think it's got potential. I took out the hand disruption... In, because I'm doing best of one, I don't think hand disruption really has a place. There are, you know, you'll you'll find one out of every five players, or maybe one out of six will play control, and then you're regretting not having hand hand disruption or anything against control. But you know, I took out the um, kite sails and the duresses. I think I'm fine. I don't regret it. Magic mirror, what's up? How are you? Our dragon dude didn't come back, so if you are back, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to play the more ranked. Nice. Who am I playing? A single ant? Should be just auto scoop to the name? Oh no, they're playing a mountain, so no. Take it back. It's about to scoop to them, but they played a mountain. A Dominaria mountain too. And they have Jaya? Uh oh. Red blue, could we be seeing the Phoenix deck? That I've heard so much about. I've heard it's coming back. I haven't seen it yet today. This is the first time I faced red blue, so cool. Is it is on the rise. People are trying it again. Yep, that's definitely Phoenix. Uh, 
Double the power of target creature at the end of turn. That's pretty cool. I'm kind of excited about this deck. I've heard a lot of good things about it. Now that gets plus one counters, so I have to kill it in response. What does it do? Hold on. Whenever you cast, you put a plus one, plus one counter. Wow. All right, I have to hope they don't have a one casting cost instant here. And they didn't. I got lucky. I'll take it. To pump or to drop the nightmare, what do you think? I think we drop a nightmare here. Let's attack first. Now pumping does get me out of shock range and all that stuff, but I don't know how many how many interactive spells they have. They might have spells that just interact with their graveyard. So I'm gonna um I'm gonna nightmare here. I could have killed it for sure with the grasp, but I want to take the risk because I think the grasp is more more better against other cards. Now I've got all the removal I could ever want. So we swing out here. Put the blocks. If they don't respond then, then pump it. Got to use those stops to make the best plays possible. Favorite colors? Probably white for sure, and either white, and either green or blue second, but I'm not sure. Hands down white first though. And probably in the history of my pl playing Magic, I would probably have to say white, blue, green, black, and red are my the order of my colors of choice. The Wham Fish. The W Ham Fish. I like it. So in case um, you haven't heard, I'm starting to do more YouTube content. If you want to go over and check out my YouTube channel, I'm uh, still working on improving it and making it better every time. I still feel a little bit awkward doing YouTube. Uh, I will continue to improve and work on my content and try new things. Right now I'm just posting monocolor decks because it's kind of what I'm playing and practicing. So the mono black deck will will go up probably later today. I'll probably now that I'm playing it and kind of tuning it up. And um, hmm, green white is it bant perhaps? So if you want to go over there and throw me a follow and check out the videos, give me your com comments, tell me what you like, what you want more of, all that kind of stuff. They are indeed on the Bant train. Bant is blue, white, and green. We're going to attack. I could have put the Embrace on and done extra damage. Mm. But I like this on a... I like There's so many better creatures to put it on, so I don't know. Maybe I'm being greedy. I'm being too picky when I could do... Could have done four more damage. So that's probably a mistake. Oh, I was staying corrected. Not Bant at all. It's four color, good stuff. Legion War Boss. That is definitely good stuff. See, I could get it on this and have lifelink. See how much better that is?
The war boss is back. He would have won the game if I had used my mana efficiently. They, that would have been lethal right there. Pretty wild. Missed an opportunity for lethal by being passive regarding this. I should, you know, you should cast the spells you have. Okay, unless they are, unless they do something completely miraculous, the game should be mine. And you never know with Winota. Charming Prince. Pretty interesting if you think about it. Lethality. Alright, so they were going four color Winota. I get it now. So where are we at with this deck now? 80% since we made the changes. Nope, not in standard. Only in historic. And the, um, the Agent of Treachery was banned, so, no, so people stopped playing Winota because they didn't have the best card in the world. Winota is still powerful, but nowhere near what it was. But some people played it really well. Some uh, some some dude played it to it was a top eight in the uh, players tour. So there's Winota decks that are still crushing people. Still a good deck. Oblate is still a thing. You can still do Boros with Winota. You can still do Mardu with Winota. Thanks, Magic Mirror. Um, so far, this deck is doing good. So let's keep playing it. Black, red, red, Jund? You mean... Uh, it kind of fell apart. Jund... So, historic maybe, but Jund isn't really a thing because you lost cat ovens. You're not getting the recursion. If you're just talking about a Jund list in general with you know value cards, I guess you could do a Jund Explorer maybe. Um, I haven't really looked into it. The problem with three color decks is they need to have like you're trying to get value ultimate value so you're using you know the geese and trail of crumbs but you lost cat and oven so you really don't have that angle anymore so i don't know really what jund is trying to do except just be a value engine and i think there's other stuff that's more Appropriate. Mono white aggro. Nice. Um, black red kind of took a hit. So the only black red decks that are going to be around are going to be aggro, pure aggro, which I do have a list and there's a couple of them out there. Hmm. So before they can protect, not the best creature to kill, to be honest with you, but I feel like before they untap, I want to do that. You have to change it entirely. I don't think it's viable. I don't think that specific deck does what you want it to do without cat. That being said, can you still get value out of, you know, what other eight cards would you replace? Maybe we can make it work. I just don't know.
So I'm trying to bait them into a full attack. And then knight and grasp in response to them flipping one. If they even care to flip one, I don't really know. Let's find out what they do. There's no point in protecting it, so I think they should just let it die. And then when it dies, then I kill the other one. But I can't do it now because they'll respond, right? So I wait, take the three damage, and now in their end step, or in response to that. Kill it. And now we race them. Pump for the win, unless they stop me with an... What can they do? Put a blocker in the sky? No tricks. All right, we're on a streak. Things are looking good for this deck. Five and one so far. Um, it should be, well, the list I linked earlier, but if you didn't see that, you can go to the, um, right when the game starts, you'll see a panel off to the left. I think if you're on mobile, you'll still see it, but it's the uh, player deck list button. Click that and you can export it and you can see the list right there on Twitch. If you can't see it, let me know, and I can throw the link in the chat as well. Or you could just go to my Aetherhub link, which should be, yeah, I'm using Untapped, yeah. Or am I? No, I'm using Cardboard Live. No, I don't use Untapped anymore. I use um, MTGA Assistant. Standard rotation is next month, but recent bans created a big shakeup. So even though it's not officially rotation, they pretty much rotated the problematic cards out. Test, it is working. Test complete. Test successful. Yeah, for some reason, Untapped GG did weird things. Um, and it might be because I have multiple accounts, but even though like, I logged into one account, it recognized the account I was in, it was still showing me things like 
Like the deck that I was playing that I'd been playing for three days, it would say, last played seven days ago. I was like, no, that's not true. And I, I would re, you know, redo the logs where it pulls your, pulls the logs, and I was like, okay, why am I not getting, my, why aren't my decks sticking? Like, for some reason, untapped, the logs that it parsed were like logs from six days ago. And so I'd re, I would reinstall, I would launch everything the way I'm supposed to, I would do the reset, you know, where you, when you launch it, it would, was supposed to pick up your current logs. And I did all that stuff, and it still didn't matter. It was just really weird. I can't explain. Discard two cards. Return. Hmm. So, Teamer Adventures is what I'm looking at right here. And I've got to keep this... I've got to keep the wishboard clear. So, let's see... What they draw, and I'm just so curious why they just dropped this as a flyer. Like, they're not going to block with it. And why is it there? Six mana already. Comes a body. I hate using two spells to kill this thing, but let's find out how, how bad they want it. Yeah, if you want to try another one, scroll down to my panels, and the big, big blue A is MTGA Assistant, and I'm a big... It's really cool. I can show you some of the things it does after this game, but um, I'm a big fan of it. So they did. And I'm going to have to double up on my spells. Didn't want to do that, but you know what? It's necessary. Especially since they threw away stuff, even though it was land. Is this where we want to be? Seven land, so close. They're gonna lose that. They're gonna lose that. That uh, Ugin. That's gonna feel so good for me. Oh, so many ways to kill it. Just in case they rip another one, we don't want that to happen. Got him. Got him. Okay. So this it does has a tracker and has a bunch of stuff. So a couple of things just to look at the features of it. I think if you click the link, it should have my name in it. Maybe it doesn't. MTGA Assistant. Yeah, it just goes... So I, I thought there was a way that... Um, I got credit for it. But I guess my link doesn't show that. My link just says... I don't think they had a, um, yeah, see, I just have the mtgaassistant.net. Other streamers are using a link that gives them credit, and maybe I need to know how to do that. Is anyone from Aetherhub here in the chat that can help me figure out how to get my link, get me the proper credit? I mean, I might as well be getting credit if I'm suggesting the uh, thing. I am sponsored by Aetherhub, so let me find them on the uh, Team Aether MTGA Assistant Support. All right, let me ask here.
Hey, David does. Um, well, right now, so this is what the tracker can do. It gives you, we're 85, we're six and one with the mono black deck that we just tuned up. I guess officially nine and two. If you combine the best of three and the best of one. I switched it over to best of one because my draws were really funky. And I don't know if the hand smoothing is a thing or not. I was told it wasn't in competitive, but then someone said it was, and I don't know. It just feels like it's do performing. I feel stable, and I feel like I have a good matchup against most best of one decks, so I'm good. Um, and then if you go here, you can look at the account stats, like what we're doing so far in um, this season. We're at 32 and 29, middle of the pack. That's kind of where I expect to be. I'm always here. Um, you can look at... Recent opponents, these are all the people we faced. You can look at the individual deck. What? I don't know why, what happened here? Winning, losing. We won one game that, that tanked, look at this weird. MTGA assistant, if you look down in my panels, you can get the generic link. I'm hoping that someone on Aetherhub responds so I can get a personal link to get credit for it. Uh, I don't know why. Um, but I don't really care. Just get, just get it, and when you use it, say, it's awesome. But... Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really understand it, though. Is it go back? It's just, I don't understand the graph because I lost, like, our very, I think it was our first game that I lost. Look at this speed. I'm winning games in under five minutes. That's where you want to beat a ladder, right? You want to grind it up? That's what you want to do. So, anyways, this deck has been doing pretty well. So you can look at all of your, um, you know, if I played it in an event, it'll show me the stats there. It's just kind of cool. And then you can also look at um, I don't know these other calculators and different tools. But the good thing is they always improve it. They're always uh, developing it. The people over at Aetherhub are very uh, they're very passionate about the game. They love magic. Can't say enough about them. So that's why I support the things they do. All right, cool. Thank you. Ethereum support and feedback, MTGA assistant. For okay, so I've put, I posted in the right forums. I'm just waiting for them to reply. No one drops. Ooh, we get to see some graveyard stuff. Look at this. Pretty interesting. Ooh, okay. I like this. This is the kind of deck we're seeing some We're seeing some interesting things here. I'm really excited about this. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Um We're gonna take this.
glow it up. Two turns, we win. So we're going to go with the two turn clock. I wonder if they play board wipes. I don't know that they would, but I'm going to still hold back. I don't have to put this out. Damage means nothing. Yep, they have a board wipe. Oh, I, I don't know what to say. People playing creature decks with board wipes. I know that their creature decks re like generate creatures, so they, they think that they can do that, but I don't. I just don't understand it. That's okay. I don't have to understand everything. Let's put a trampler out. Even if they get a griffin, we can still smash. They get a griffin. If I draw a land, I win. If I don't draw a land, that would be too easy. Six, seven, eight. So close. They have life gain in their deck, so this isn't necessarily over until it's over. We're going to hold up Heartless Act to pass the turn. Next to the battlefield. Interesting. Do they bring Luris back? Is that what their, their plan is? Where do they get something that gives... Do they have... Back to seven. I'm at six. All right, we got him. Scary. But all we need is one life. Yep, so far. It's got a good win rate. Get rid of that clown.
So annoying. When people do that to me, I freak out. Like, how many? Like, really? And it never ends. And we have Murderous Rider, the next creature. And let's see if we... Oh, we can't Murderous Rider that. Never mind. Stand corrected. We just have to attack. I think I'm going to pump this time. Probably should have put out the Nightmare if I'm going to, but... I feel like we'll win with these cards. So they have no mana. We have to kill the Planeswalker. And swing with all the things. Rankle it up next turn. Mm, maybe. Oh, that's good. That's cool. Alright, we need to find... Ooh, look at them. Nice. I like Tribunal. People aren't playing it. I play it in my white deck. Very good. It was definitely heartless. All four of them. Pretty ridiculous. Eleven and two today. Games are fast. I'm beating everything. Could be just a lucky streak. I don't know. But my hands look have looked pretty good. Um, so yeah. And the nightmare is so much better than the Registor. I'm really happy with it. More planes, all right. Another life gain deck.
Uh oh, now we're not getting land drops. Okay. We're not attacking. Very interesting. There you go. Seven. I don't know if I win this race now. Four, five. Yeah, they gain five life. Uh. If I can draw a land, hit Rankle, that's my only chance, I think. They sacrifice the savior here to protect the pride mate. Back to 11, I lose everything. But fortunately for them, I am the best at magic. That was a close one. Just in case anyone wanted to know, the life gain deck is not very good.
It's a trap. People will play it. People love it. Gaining life is not how you win magic games. Yeah. Well, the land, but I'll take it. This is what I, exactly what I needed. So yes, I will take that mize. Let's, uh... Damn those mises. Oh, that's cool. Forgot people were making custom emotes. I like hunted, yeah. Pretty happy with it. Mountain ginger brood. Interesting. Trample, let it promise. <laughs> yeah. Wow, we're going back old school, Red. Um, hmm. Red, white. Red, white with early speedy creatures. Wonder what they're working on here. Interesting. Okay, cool. Shock is out of the way now. We're going to race him in the air. I'm going to go for it. I think Red White will have a problem dealing with this guy. I'll make it fly. And we've got more flyers to back it up. Winota? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you're probably right. Zombies and, and food golems will make a good Winota. Yep. Chalk, though. Interesting. I feel like shocks kind of dilute the point of Winota, but maybe they need them. They need some interaction, I guess. Ooh. That's a card that I like. Aliosaur is spicy. I play that in my red white deck, too, so that's neat. We'll give him a nice for that. You're in my spot. You are in my spot. You're in my spot. Good old Justice Strike. There's the Venota. Cute. Other than 
too. That's great. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pump for twelve. Can't do that because I need to spend three life. Darn, so close. Hold on, maybe I do have it here. Give me a second. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You can't be stopped. You have to look for that lethal. There it was. We know it can't beat us. Pretty scary though, it was close. I could have easily punted it away. Hello, Chivuk or Chuck. Welcome to the colony. All right, so where are we at? We are currently 90% win rate. It's pretty crazy. I mean, that's best of one 90%. We've got. Uh, 13 and 2 for the night. Pretty impressive. It's probably the best. I, I played Mono Green for a while. I thought that was pretty good. But that's only 11 and 7. Not even close to what we're doing right now. Play a different version? Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of different versions. I have two of them, and I went with 